Step two of this capstone uh, project involves figuring out how much energy you can get from your carbon emission scenario here. Let's say you've got a carbon emission start scenario you like, keeps the global temperature down below the three degree uh, limit, then the next step is to figure out, okay, how much energy can we get from that carbon? So the key thing, uh, the variable here is this fossil fuel energy intensity. And so then the, this is a little slider. You can uh, run this thing back and forth. It's the fossil fuel energy intensity. So the um, exajoules of energy per gigaton of carbon is that value there. The default value here was um, um, let's see what's that 47.6 that's what you get with our current mixture of coal and oil and natural gas as the fossil fuels and the global energy supply now you could um, increase this or decrease it uh, decreasing it to something like 35 would represent uh, using 100% coal all the way up to about 59 would represent um, using 100% uh, natural gas as the fossil fuel that we're using to produce our, our energy. Um, so let's just go with the default value here for right now and see what happens. So you choose that, and then if you run the model, it'll calculate the amount of carbon you get. And so that's this red curve here. That's is going to be in exajoules of energy um, that's produced by burning fossil fuels. Um, the blue line here is actually the, the global energy demand, which comes from the population and the per capita energy demand. And so you can see that, that in, this, in this first part of this history, we're actually wasting energy. We're, we're uh, producing more energy than, than uh, the globe demands. So that's, that would encourage you to go back and, and reduce your carbon emissions during that time period. Um, the, the remainder, the gap between um, the demand and what you get from fossil fuels determines um, what's got to be made up by renewable energy sources. So these are non-fossil fuel based energy sources.